We're doing a tour today of Queen Anne, and uh, we're going to start our tour up at Cary Park. This was donated by the Parsons family, the same family that donated Camp Parsons to the Boy Scouts. Oh, that's interesting amazing. home with some topiary in front. The modern home has a great view. Nice, interesting sideways colonial. Beautiful, has cedar shade. And, and there was all another beautiful sort of Scandinavian Swiss Tudor. There's a detail in gingerbread on the side of this Tudor home. This is another painted brick home. It's so pretty. You wouldn't think painted brick would work, but it does in this Mediterranean home with the tile roof. We're going to go from uh, Third and Highland and uh, look at some of the beautiful homes on Queen Anne Hill today. This is a beautiful green and white striped awning. This great house with a veranda. This must be so pleasant on a hot summer evening. The juxtaposition of homes is unique. Look at that. 40s homes with a modern cutting edge design. another Tudor home that has some very uh, unique moldings. And it's got a an really impressive entry with very large columns. So you've got a Tudor home with these craftsman style details. This is a lovely Victorian era home with some uh, federal stylings and a very charming uh, gazebo entrance. We have palm trees in front of this uh, French Normandy chateau. Another palm tree at the other end of the property. Look at the view from these modern homes. Many of the Tudor homes have craftsman styling. This is a beautiful um, craftsman home with a mansard roof and a Doric column. Here's the grand Queen Anne estate with lions guarding the front door. Very well kept Dutch colonial. Commanding Here's a view. modern Cape Cod that's uh, newer that was built to blend in with the neighborhood. They did a good I remember job. when this home was uh, was sold about 15 years ago. It was a real fixer, and it's been all restored. Beautiful job in this uh, turn of the century home. This is a gorgeous tricolored craftsman bungalow. And Top Pot Donuts has moved into Queen Anne. This is the Gaylor Street Business District. Here's a modern home sandwiched in between two turn-of-the-century bungalows. The diversity of architecture on Queen Anne is amazing. Look at this Mediterranean-style duplex. Here's another Tudor home built on Queen Anne with the craftsman detail. Here's a beautiful craftsman bungalow. Looks like it's been restored. It also has some Tudor detailing, with some leaded glass, and some sort of a... a like a Swiss gingerbread up on the second level, but a very traditional craftsman front porch with cedar shade. This is a Victorian era home with the original gingerbread. This True. is small, but it's just a beautifully restored craftsman. Beveled siding and uh, cedar shade. This is a very charming Victorian era. Uh, Craftsman. Looks like about 1910. Look at the black trim. That works great. Here's some random art in the neighborhood. Someone has decorated their uh, telephone pole out in front of their house with various pieces and bits of colored glass and vases and bits of plastic and jagged pieces of old pottery. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Here's a piece of random art that's uh, free on the corner of this beautifully painted bungalow. I love the color of this home. Look at the turquoise fish scale uh, shingles up on the second floor. Franz Co. is a beautiful elementary school on Queen Anne. Grass Street Business District. This is a wonderful juxtaposition, the white house with the white bark of the ash tree. The beautiful four square traditional craftsman home, early Seattle with a big front porch. Here's Grandma's cottage. 
with lions guarding the front door. This is the Central Business District on Queen Anne, and you've got a Starbucks across the street from a Peach Coffee adjacent to a Cafe Ladro, in case you need some coffee, then you can't find it. That's it, only three coffee shops? And don't forget the teacup for the world-class cup of tea. It's a beautiful central Queen Anne neighborhood. I've always loved the dark, elegant paint on this Craftsman Tudor transitional with the clinker brick entry. Brings the perfect time of year to go look at houses and go sightseeing on Queen Anne. On the east slope of Queen Anne, you've got views of Lake Union, all the way over to the U District, and to Gasworks Park. Queen Anne's a beautiful place to live. I love Seattle.